Has the 10-year tips continued to trend upwards? Should you consider buying at the upcoming 10-year tips auction or on the secondary market? And are we planning on buying any? Hello, members and super savers. These are the three questions I'll be covering today because, well, quite a few of you have sent them our way. And iBond fans, we've heard you too. And we're working on an update for you as well. Stay tuned for that one. As usual, here's our front of video disclaimer. For a detailed disclaimer, please refer to the end of this video. Let's dive in now, folks. And the answer is a resounding yes. The 10-year tips has continued to trend upwards, even since this video that we posted last week when we first talked about the upcoming 10-year tips auction. In fact, the yields on tips of different maturities have all gone up nicely since the beginning of the year. This yellow line shows the yield on the 10-year tips. The Treasury will hold a 10-year tips reopening auction this Thursday, September 21st. This blue line shows the yield on the 5-year tips. The Treasury will hold a 5-year tips auction next month on Thursday, October 19th. And this red line shows the yield on the 30-year tips. The auction for the 30-year tips happened in August, so the next Treasury auction will only be in February of 2024. But if this maturity is what you're looking for, there's always the secondary market. More on this later. Back to the 10-year tips though, because that's what's being auctioned off this month. As you can see from this chart going back to 2003, the 10-year tips closed at just under 2% last Friday. The last time it was at this level was 14 years ago in 2009. And that's why there's a fair bit of buzz in some circles around this upcoming auction, which brings us to the next question. Before I answer this, let's compare the yield on the 10-year tips versus the 10-year treasury note after close of market last week. The 10-year tips closed at 1.98%. Remember that tips are quoted on a real yield basis, meaning that this number is already adjusted for inflation. So an investor who owns these tips will always stay 1.98% ahead of inflation. As I always say, think of the real yield as the fixed rate on an I-bond. The 10-year Treasury note closed at 4.33%. Treasury bills, notes, and bonds are quoted on a nominal yield basis, not adjusted for inflation meaning that to make these two numbers comparable, we actually have to deduct the rate of inflation from this nominal yield to get to the real yield. Now, if we take this nominal yield here of 4.33% and subtract out the real yield here of 1.98%, we get 2.35%. This is the break-even inflation rate, meaning that if inflation stays at a constant rate of 2.35% every year for the next 10 years, it makes no difference whether you buy these 10-year tips or these 10-year treasury notes. On the other hand, if inflation will be above 2.35% on average over the next 10 years, then these 10-year tips would have been the wiser investment. And if inflation is under 2.35% on average over the next 10 years, then these 10-year treasury notes would have been more prudent. This break-even rate concept is not always the simplest to grasp. So let me give you two concrete examples. Let's take a look at this poll that we ran last week, where I asked the community if they thought higher inflation is here to stay. If you chose, we'll get back to 2% sometime next year in 2024, which at 12% surprised me, quite frankly. If this is you, you would purchase the 10-year treasury note because 2% is below this break-even inflation rate of 2.35% and you would get a higher real yield from the treasury. On the other hand, if you are among the 48% who think we'll never get back to 2% and will have to live with higher inflation rates for the foreseeable future, you may want to consider the tips if you expect that inflation will be consistently above 2.35%, in which case the tips will give you a higher real yield after inflation. For those of you considering purchasing at this week's upcoming 10-year tips auction, I will post the break-even rate as a community post after markets close on Wednesday, the day before the auction. So keep an eye out for it. Now, 
I know some of you don't like auctions because you want to know the price you're paying and the yield that you'll be getting when you place your order, which is not possible with auction orders. In this instance, if you're planning on buying in larger quantities, say in the tens of thousands, it may make sense to just keep a regular eye on the market and put in an order when you find a price yield combination that works for you. Because remember, most of the leading brokers do not charge a fee for secondary market treasury trades. If you're planning on buying $100 via Treasury Direct or $1,000 via one of the leading brokerage companies to test things out, so to say, you may be better off buying at auction because at the time of this taping, the minimum quantity that an investor could purchase on the secondary market with any of the leading brokerage sites was $10,000. It seems minimum purchase and sale quantities have gone up a fair bit on the secondary market since last year. Let's move on now to the next section of this video. We gave this one a fair bit of consideration because a real yield of around 2% and a 14 year high no less is pretty attractive. But like I said in April, May, I think real yields will go higher. And I feel the same now after the latest inflation numbers were released. Yes, things came in as the market expected for the most part, but the fact remains we're still not at 2%. And more simply, and perhaps importantly, our government still needs quite a bit more money to fund their spending efforts. The deficit is still running quite high and they'll need to issue more debt and flood the market with even more treasury securities. And as we all know from Economics 101, the greater the supply of treasuries in the market, the lower prices will go, meaning higher yields for super savers. Of course, anything can happen. Perhaps there will be drastic spending cuts in the current budget conversations, or perhaps inflation will come down to 2% in 2024. Who knows? And that would change my perspective. But for now, based on the information we have, we're watching the market and holding out for higher real yields. As always, that's our financial journey and everyone's financial journey is different. What about you? Will you be picking up some of these 10 year tips at the upcoming auction or on the secondary market? Or are you sitting this one out altogether? And if you are, why? Drop a comment below and let us know. If you're new to tips and have stuck with us until this point out of utter fascination, then be sure to check out these intro to tips videos first before diving into a tips investment. Tips are slightly more complex than I-bonds and T-bills and notes. All right, members and super savers, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, I'd love to invite you to continue to support our channel through membership so that we can keep producing one-of-a-kind, unbiased, sponsorship-free videos for a super saving community. Get your questions answered in our next live member Q&A on September 22nd at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out our latest member videos. To learn more about Diamond Nest Egg membership, visit our channel page or the join link in the video description below for more details. See you again very soon with more brand new wealth building content for your financial journey.